Something interesting and important is happening in the world of international democracy support. A whole series of countries outside of North America and Europe are starting to get into the realm or the business of supporting democracy in their neighborhoods. This ranges in Asia from Indonesia, India, South Korea, in the Middle East, Turkey is engaged in this, in Latin America, Brazil and Chile, in Africa, South Africa, and sometimes Nigeria. In order to try to assess this trend, understand it more deeply, the Carnegie Endowment has formed the Rising Democracies Network. It's a group of about, for now, 10 researchers at universities, think tanks, or policy institutes who work in their own countries and are themselves experts in their own country's efforts in this regard. So what it's doing is bringing together a very diverse group of researchers who are examining this interesting phenomenon and coming together around this topic to deepen understanding. There are several goals to this effort. The first is to help researchers within the countries in question uh, give greater attention to this subject within the policy communities that they're part of. So, for example, in Brazil, it's of interest to the Brazilian policy community of whether Brazil should be engaged in supporting democracy in its neighborhood. So by being part of this network, the researchers are able to give greater attention to the issues. Secondly, it's also to bring comparative insights within the network to the different members. So therefore, the person from India, for example, can learn from Indonesia's experience in this regard. South Africa could learn from the experience of Turkey and so forth. So there's a lot of learning within the network that we're trying to also help magnify. And then third, just as importantly, we're bringing the work of this network and of these countries directly to Western policymakers. There's a tendency in the West, I think, not always to appreciate the depth and complexity of the work of rising democracies in the realm of international democracy support. And this network aims to bridge that gap. You see rising democracies engaged in democracy support in many different ways in different places. So for example, uh, there's a political crisis going on in Venezuela. Brazil is trying to help mediate uh, between the opposition and the government in Venezuela for the purpose of safeguarding, uh, perhaps improving Venezuelan democracy. South Africa has been very engaged in the last five years in Cote d'Ivoire and trying to help that country get beyond the crisis that it went through and move towards more successful democratization. Indonesia, through the Institute for Peace and Democracy, uh, which is part of our network, uh, has been engaged in some interesting democracy support in Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, with political actors in those countries to help spread democratic ideas. What you'll see on our website, where we have a special page devoted to the network, is a series of publications by members of the network, as well as by the coordinators, Richard Youngs and myself, where we go into more detail in examining different facets of this topic. You'll also find a bibliography about this subject generally, as well as information about meetings that we're holding on the subject.